get ready for the dictation 10 seconds 5 seconds start friends it gives me very great pleasure to be present here on the joyous occasion of the republic day many years ago on this day we gave to ourselves a constitution and brought into being a government of the people for the people and by the people in spite of various pressures and difficult circumstances that we had to face from time to time we have been able to make progress in many fields today we are regarded as one of the largest democracies of the world this is something which every indian should really be proud of i think that this is a proper occasion for us to assess what we have done till now for the development of the country at the same time we have to think about what should be done in the future as you are aware the governments both at the center and in the states are implementing various welfare schemes these schemes are drawn up keeping in view the welfare of all the people in the country but the main objective of most of these schemes is to ensure a better standard of living for those who are at present living in poverty however doubts arise every now and then whether the entire benefits of the measures undertaken by the government have reached the poor people especially in the rural areas all over the country of course there are various agencies of the government which are made responsible for the effective working of the schemes but the success of the various plans launched by the government depends to a large extent on the cooperation of the general public the welfare of the country as a whole should be kept in view above all other considerations we should not at all give room for differences arising among the people on the basis of class caste religion and region every man or woman should care for the well being of others in the society instead of keeping in view his or her own selfish interests if such an attitude is created in the mind of every indian citizen i have no doubt that our country will be able to become one of the most developed nations of the world i hope that the young men and women who have gathered here on this occasion will take an active part in all efforts in this regard i think it is my duty to say before concluding a few words by way of giving a special advice to the school children who have assembled here in large numbers today we can easily say that the children of our country get the best type of education in terms of both quality and content but the students should realize that they should not confine themselves just to learning whatever is taught in a school or college they should have a spirit of inquiry and think more and more about the ways and means of putting to practical use the knowledge gained by them in the educational institutions if they develop such a spirit in themselves they will have a real thirst for knowledge when they have this thirst they will go in search of new areas of learning and in course of time become experts in their fields of study if all these things happen a day will certainly come when our country will occupy an eminent place in the world therefore every student 
should cultivate the good habit of going deep into every fact that he or she comes across in the course of the process of learning letter dated 10th may 1980 from hotel sangam madurai to professor raman gandhi road madras dear sir we thank you for your letter of the fifth instant in accordance with the details given in your letter we have reserved the rooms for the stay of the delegates who will be attending the seminar on society to be held here next month during the course of the telephonic talk which you had with our manager this morning you mentioned about the travel arrangements for the delegates in this connection we have spoken to the people in the travel agency who have their office in our premises they have agreed to take care of everything including air bookings reservations in trains and visits to places of interest in and around the city we hope that they will also be writing to you in this regard from the program sent by you along with your letter we find that the delegates have some free time in the afternoon of the last day as you know this part of the state is well known for its various types of folk dances if you are interested we can arrange cultural program of these dances in our meenakshi hall we are sure that the visitors will enjoy the program and carry happy memories of their stay in this historic city we look forward to hearing from you in this regard yours faithfully